This video will cover the application requirements for the Wyoming Talking Books program. For those of you with limited vision, the video will start out on a website which I will describe. Then I will open up a large print application reading and describing some of the information needed to complete the application. We will begin at the website www.wyomingtalkingbooks.org. There is more detailed information about the program on this homepage and by clicking the link about this service on the left hand side. A link to the application may be found by clicking on either Who Can Apply or Application. I am going to click on Who Can Apply. Wyoming residents of all ages are eligible for this free service if they are legally blind, have low vision with or without corrective lenses, have physical limitations making it difficult to hold a book, or have a reading disability due to an organic dysfunction. And this is differentiated from a reading disability due to an emotional issue, illiteracy, or speaking and reading a different language. Where it says download and complete this application, I will click on the word application to open up a PDF file. This whole application needs to be printed and filled out as there is not an online application at this time. I will go over some of the pieces on this application, but you may call services for the visually impaired if you have any questions about those parts which I do not cover. The first page will be used as your envelope. It is pre-stamped free matter for the blind and disabled, and the other pages can be folded into it when you're done. Page 3 of the application asks for your basic contact information. It also has a section for you to select if you want a digital talking book machine or a cassette player. There is only a description of the digital books and player on the website. The library is no longer recording books on cassette, however many older titles are still available in this format. I recommend starting with just the digital machine. And if you have a need for the cassette machine, you can request it at a later time. The bottom of page four asks you to select your service preferences. Here you will select which format of books you want to receive, that is digital, braille, etc. You may select more than one format. And then you can choose how you want to receive books. You can have books sent to you automatically when you return them, or you can just receive books when you order them specifically. The next page gives you room to check off what subject and age level reading material you want to receive. One feature of this service, if you choose to have books sent to you automatically, is that you can have the library randomly select titles from your chosen subject categories. It's a fun way to discover titles you may not have ordinarily picked for yourself. Keep in mind, none of these selections are set in stone. You can always call or email the library staff in Utah to make changes. There is also an option to order your books online that is not indicated on the application, but the library staff can get you set up with a logon and password once your account is active. Page 6 goes into greater detail the eligibility requirements that I discussed on the website. The application needs to be signed by a certifying authority. In the case of eligibility due to visual and physical disabilities, the application can be signed by most healthcare practitioners – doctors, nurses, eye doctors, physical therapists, nursing home or rehabilitation staff – are all authorized to sign the application. In the case of a reading disability, only a medical doctor or doctor of osteopathy may sign the application. All applications must be turned in with an original signature. It may not be a photocopy and the doctor may not sign it with a stamp. When you are done, fold up all of your pages into the first envelope page. Tape or staples will secure it. The application will be sent to the Services for the Visually Impaired Office in Riverton. They may contact you if there are any questions or clarification needed. Your application will be processed and they will send you a talking book machine. 
Your information will then be sent to the Utah State Library Program for the Blind and Disabled and you can get started with ordering your books. Please visit wyomingtalkingbooks.org for additional contact information and details on the program. Happy reading!